G'day ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another video. My name is Cody and today I will be giving you my week one NRL finals tips and predictions 2023 alongside my 2023 NRL custom season um, tips as well. I will, I will explain how it will work um, when I've done the... Um, when I've done my actual tips, I'll get that towards the end of the video. But we'll, first, we'll go through all of the um, four games that are happening for the first week of the finals from Friday to Sunday. Now, last week in our final regular season game, I got four out of eight. I've only got mainly correct. Um, who else? We got Sharks. We got Bulldogs. And um, who, who played the last game on Saturday? Oh, jeez. Um, who, the second last game on Saturday. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Knights, that's it. Knights beat the Dragons as well. So I only got four out of eight to wrap it up, but not a bad one. And after last week's horrible performance, as you can tell, I'm not wearing a Bunnies jersey this time because we didn't make the top eight, sadly. We missed out for the first time since 2017. So we've made it for five straight or six straight seasons. But, oh, well. There's always next year, but we're not here to get into that dilemma. But without further ado, let's get into the uh, first finals games. And the first one kicking off on the long Friday night, taking place at Suncorp Stadium, kicking off from 7 o'clock, or if it kicks off at that time. It is the rematch from last week. It is the Brisbane Broncos taking on the Melbourne Storm. <laughs> now, last week, uh, Melbourne won... Um, 32-22 with both players um, resting their top players. Melbourne were the better of the two teams. Obviously, it'll be full strength versus full strength for this week. Now, because these two played last week, I'm not going to get into the head-to-head -head really, but all I can say is now Melbourne have won 14 in a row. It's second versus third. And usually it's first versus fourth that kicks off um, the final series, but for some reason it's second versus third. I don't know what the reason is, but um, we'll find out, I guess. Now, these two have played finals before, including the 2006 NRL Grand Final, where the Broncos won that one. The score was... Oh, Jesus. Uh, 15 points to 8, and from a field goal from Darren Lockyer in that one. And in total, these two have played in eight finals games, with Melbourne winning six and Broncos winning two. Last time these two clashed in a finals game was the preliminary final back in 2017 where Melbourne thrashed them 30 points to nil at Amy Park and Melbourne would go on to beat the Cowboys in the grand final that year. Yeah, so start off one. To start off, it's a tough one. Now, Melbourne, they've been up and down this year, but they managed to find some... Um, they managed to find some form towards the end of the season. That's for the Broncos. They've been doing very well this year. I mean, outstanding. Didn't expect them to finish in second. Well, they tied for first, but they could have won the money premiership, but they didn't. But anyways, who do I see winning this game? Yeah, I'm not going to make the same mistake as last week. I'm sorry, Brisbane fans, but I will go Melbourne to win this one. It's just Melbourne, it's just, Melbourne just have a, a great win, um, winning streak over Brisbane, and I don't know when it's going to end. So I'm, I'll go Melbourne to win 1 to 12 by 6 points. We'll go score. Let's go. Let's go 24-18. So if Brisbane, so if Melbourne win, they go on the preliminary final and they will face whoever in a couple of weeks in Brisbane loot. And, and Brisbane will go on to play 5th versus 8th, which will be the Knights or the Raiders, if, um, whoever wins that game. So Melbourne to win for the first qualifying final. Now we move on to first of our two Saturday finals games. The second qualifier and the first game on Saturday kicking off at 4pm from Blue Bet Stadium. It is the Penrith Panthers, the minor premiers back-to-back -back, uh, for two years in a row now, taking on the um, hot red smoking Warriors, New Zealand Warriors. The first time they've finished in, they've made the top eight since First time since 2018. And I think the last time they made a top four finish was 2007 or 2008. It was one of them two seasons. But good on the Warriors finishing a top four spot. And regardless if they win or lose this week, they will get their guaranteed a um, home semi or a preliminary final for, the, for their next game. 
Now, Penrith coming off a win, a thrashing over the Cowboys, 44 points to 12, and because of Broncos' loss to the Storm, Panthers are once again the minor premiers, this time for 2023. And as for the Warriors, um, rested many players, and they lost to the Dolphins, 34 points to 10, ending their 6 or 7 game winning streak. Not what I ex expected, but um, it was good for the Warriors to rest some players before the um, before the big um, four week period. Now, in the past ten games between these two, Panthers, Panthers have won eight of the past ten, which includes winning seven in a row. Now, these two have met in the finals before twice, and Panthers have won both of those occasions. The first one was in two thousand three for the preliminary final where the Panthers won 28-20 to go on to play against the Roosters in, the, in that year's grand final, and Penrith won um, that season. And the other time these two met in the finals was a qual qualifying elimination final, or elimination final, first week of 2018 final series, where they played the Warriors again, 27 points to 12, at Blue, I believe it was Blue Bet Stadium as well. So Warriors have not got a win over the Panthers in finals like they could this week. Now for this game, it's a tough one. It's going to be sold out at Bluebet. And, and from what I've seen, it's filling up fast. So people, you better get your tickets fast. Because although my team's out of the eight now, I'm going to be backing the Warriors to win the grand final. Yes, you heard that right. Warriors, how they've been this year, they've been amazing. I'm going for the Warriors to hopefully make the grand final and, pop, and win it. And because of that, I'm going to be one of the few people tipping against the Panthers. So I will go to Warriors to win this one. Now, if they don't win, it's all right. They'll play whoever. They'll play the game, the game versus Sharks. Win off the Sharks versus Roosters game um, next week. And they'll take a home game to um, New Zealand, hopefully Mount Smart Stadium. But, yes, I'll go Warriors to win this one. 1-12. One I'll go by four. Let's go 22-18 scoreline. If the Warriors win, oh, all the joys of the people over there in New Zealand, they're going to be loud and proud. Let's go the Waz. Up the Waz. Now we move on to the first of the two elimination final games now. First one on the Saturday, kicking off at 7.50pm. And I just want to make a quick mistake, guys. 7.50 kickoff on Friday and 4.05 kickoff on for the first Saturday game. So my apologies for that. The next game coming up is between the Cronulla Sharks, who finished 6th with a win over the Raiders, 24 points to 6. Taking on the Sydney Roosters, uh, who beat my boys, the Rabbitohs, and kicked them out of the finals after the revenge for last year. They won 26-12 against the Rabbitohs. Oh, jeez. That was so not good. But I'm already over it anyway, and I've already copped it already. So if anyone else decides to cop it on me, I will ban you. Anyways, um, in the past 10 games between these two, the Roosters have won 7 of the past 10, which includes winning um, 7 in a row. However, um, these two met um, back in April. They um, Sharks won 22 points to 12 at points bet. And the last time the Roosters won a points bet was last year when they won 36 16. Wow, and these two have also met in the final series as well. First one back in 2002. That's the very first time ever they met in the finals from what I could find. If they played any other finals games before 2002, let me know. This is wild research I could find. Roosters won 32 20 in the qualifying final for that one. I believe it was qualifying because it said semi for the next Sharks game. And then back in 2018, um, last time these two met in the finals game, um, the Sharks won, I'm uh, sorry, the Roosters won 21 points to 12. And this was a qualifying final as well. And the Sharks would lose that one. They'll go on to lose, they will go on to play in the semis that following week. Um, Yep, so for this one, ooh, it's another toughie. And like I said in my vlog, if you haven't checked it out yet, go check it out. I'm not going for the Roosters because of the loss. I'm Nothing against them, but uh, after that loss, I can't really stand them. 
Um, to, so I'm going Sharks to win one to twelve. I'll go Sharks to win by six. Score. Let's go. Ooh, let's go. Let's go. Twenty six twenty. It will be a, and the Roosters will be the first team to be eliminated in the two thousand twenty three final series. Now we move on to the final um, elimination game in the final game of the f- week one of the NRL finals. It is the 5th place Newcastle Knights taking on the 8th place Canberra Raiders. The Knights, 9 in a row. Still in red hot form. Oh, I can't believe it. Um, they managed to beat the um, Dragons. I think it was 32-12, I believe the score was. And as for Raiders, still made the 8, surprisingly. They lost 24-6. Against the um, Sharks, and their points differential is minus one hundred and thirty-seven. I believe that's the most amount of negative points differential that any club has made had that made in the NRL finals, and I'm talking about the NRL era only from nineteen ninety-eight to the currently. I don't think any other team. Has had that high points differential. I could be wrong, but I'm most certain that um, Raiders have got the highest now. Minus 137. Couldn't win a 30 plus game this year at all. And I believe they're also the first team to make the finals to not win a regular season game 30 plus or more. It's ridiculous. Now, in the past 10 games between these two, the Knights have won six of the past ten, which includes winning five of the past seven. And also, these two have met twice this year. Uh, first, um, in March, where Knights won 24-14 up in Newcastle. And then the other game back in July, where they beat the Raiders 28 points to six. Raiders, they've been up and down this year. And Knights, they've been red hot form. Everyone wrote, wrote them off uh, before they played the Dogs, and where they smashed them 66 nil. And this is, will also be the Knights' first time making coming back to the final since 2021. After last year, they missed out due to missing coming in 14th. So, great improvement. And along with the Warriors, they finished 15th last year and they finished 4th. And also, the Broncos are the new team in the finals from 9th place to 2nd. Wow. And... And these two have never met in a finals game either. So this will be the first time these two will clash um, um, in a finals game as well. Who do I see winning this one? Can't go past the Knights. Ten in a row, here we come. If it's going to be a Warriors versus Knights grand final, who do? I'm ready for that. Yeah, so I'll go right. No, I'm actually going to go Knights 13 plus for this one. It's tough to beat them up in Newcastle. So I'll go Knights to win by 16. Let's go scoreline, 32-16. Raiders are done. They they didn't deserve to make the finals, but good on them for making it in somehow. But hopefully the Knights can win this one. And with that out of the way, that will conclude my round, I'm oh, sorry, my finals week one NRL tips. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Now, I will get into the my custom finals one as well now. So what this means is if you've been following along, Along with the NRL tips and Super League tips, I also did the 2023 NRL custom season. I've done it for 2022 and 2021 as well. It's my third iteration of doing it, and this year was a success as well. And I'll show you, I'll have a picture of the ladder on the screen here as well. Um, and I'll, I'll let you know, these are the teams that have made the top eight um, in my final series. So first place, it's Eels. Second is the Warriors. Third is the Rabbitohs. Fourth is the Roosters. Fifth is the Tigers. Panthers is sixth. Cowboys seventh. And the Dolphins is eighth. So that is my custom series um, top eight. And so that means it will be Eels versus Roosters. Warriors versus Rabbitohs. Tigers versus Dolphins. And Panthers versus Cowboys. And as for the rest of the ladder, I'll show up on here as well. Mainly finished ninth. Dragons tenth. Bulldogs 11th, Raiders 12th, Knights 13th, Titans 14th, Sharks 15th, Melbourne 16th, and Broncos 17th. So I'll have the image on here somewhere. Um, 
And if you're gonna say that like um you're not a real fan, just just to be clear, it's got nothing to do with the actual um NRL season. I just follow the same format as the NRL. The same teams um played each other, but obviously the finals is gonna be different because um only the Warriors, the Roosters, and Panthers, the only three teams that are in the actual from the actual NRL um that'll be part of the custom series. So, any of them can win it as well. So, I will. Those games will come up, come out on the same day as the games that are played on their days as well. So I won't be overloaded or could upload them earlier. But I won't say any tips because obviously it's it's a, it's unpredictable. But from what I could see for the custom series final. I believe it's going to be a Roosters and I'll say a Warriors Grand Final most likely. Because for last year's Grand Final was Warriors in Melbourne. Uh, Warriors won that one. Um, I couldn't, can't remember the score. And in 2021, the Rabbitohs won that 14 points to 6 against the West Tigers. And funny thing is too, but the two teams that made for those Grand Finals, Rabbits Tigers and Melbourne Warriors, they played each other. In the first week of the finals as well. So we could get a repeat of Eels, Roosters making it or Warriors, Rabbits. Who knows? But um, I hope you guys will enjoy that custom final series. And let's see who will win it as well. Anyways, everyone, this will conclude my tipping video for week one of the finals. And for the custom finals explaining of how it will work. Um, without further ado, I hope you guys will like the video. Subscribe to the channel for you when you're around here. 2023 NRL regular season's done. 2024 um, will be coming very soon. The draw um, sometime in November will come out. But anyways, everyone, I'll see you all next time. And yes, I will do a Super League tip video tomorrow. I said last week I will do it, but obviously I didn't have enough time. But I will do one um, for tomorrow. Anyways, everyone, see you all in the next one.